gotta check if this joint working. So your aesthetic is basically how your page is laid out. Some aesthetics are very dark. Some are very brownish in color. Some are super bright and colorful. But the aesthetic that I have adopted is a very silver, a more black and white look. In my opinion, because I have a browner skin tone, it really helps my images pop, being that I'm the browner subject. Having smooth transitions between each layer of photos definitely helps you out in the long run. So you're just gonna wanna have to pay more attention to the previous post and the color that's gonna be coming next. There are a lot of profiles that also do this layered or stacked look where each row has a specific color or a three set of images. Personally, I like to stay away from the row look. I like to have a scroll this way look. But when you're starting out, doing that more row look will definitely help you figure out what your theme is. So there are three things that you it's very hot in this garage, hold on. When creating your Instagram aesthetic, you want to keep in mind these three things. One is going to be your theme. This is the colors that you're going for, type of things that you post, meaning is this a personal page or is this a business page? And the last thing you're gonna wanna pay attention to is what post do you have underneath your next post? So number one, what do you want your theme to be? You just have to keep in mind that you wanna have consistency in your theme. So recently, the theme that I chose for my page was a more desaturated look. So this is gonna include bright whites, a more washed out looking sky, white sands, just overall a definitely more washed out look in the most effortless way possible. So desaturating the background and creating a black and white image that has a color subject on top is definitely not the same thing. Now there are many applications that you can put things like this into practice. In Lightroom, you can play with all the colors, the saturation, contrast, and everything. But most apps on your iPhone, you can download for free and pretty much do the same thing. So get one of those apps and practice. The second thing you wanna focus on, is this a personal or business page? You don't want to mix the two. If I wanted to post a picture of myself when the last video or picture that I posted was something for a client, it created a lot of confusion. So I definitely recommend you have a business and a personal page if you're gonna do that type of thing. So when creating your aesthetic for your personal page, you're gonna to wanna to have all of the things, you're gonna really wanna tell a story here. So you're gonna have wanna have all the things that uh, speak to your life. Outfits that you wore, places that you traveled, you know, the regular Instagram things, but then you also wanna have smaller things, like accessories. Once in a while, throw in some fixes of your shoes. Um, a good book that you're reading. Really create the aesthetic of all the things that you see around yourself in your life. What that does is not only say that you're not just a very narcissistic person that likes to post selfies, but you're very aware of your surroundings. You know how to put together a piece of art. I hate to say this, but Instagram is an art. But if this is your business, this is something that uh, you want to sell products or sell a service or let people know that you are a brand, you're gonna wanna definitely make your page clean. Um, I like to go on Instagram business profiles and see a very clean look. If it's a store, I can see all the products as I'm scrolling down. If it is a photography page, as I scroll, I should see nothing but amazing shots and I can pick whichever ones grab my eye the most. If you're a videography page, you wanna keep things clean. In essence, your thumbnails for your videos, which is like the first millisecond of the video, is going to be very important for your Instagram page. So if you take a look at some of the videos that I've created, I handpick every single one of my thumbnails to make sure that it goes with the aesthetic of my page. That makes sense. After you've picked your color scheme and then you figured out what you want to post, whether that be personal stuff or more business minded, you're going to want to keep in mind exactly how to line up each one of your posts to go perfectly with the last few. So this is it right here. This is the key to keeping that theme all the way down your timeline. The top third post that you have is going to be the post that goes at the bottom of your next post. Just keep that in mind. Lock that in, 
think about it. And that's really all you have to think about as far as posting. One, you figured out your theme. You have a color. You're gonna do all dark pictures. All my pictures are gonna be really dark. I'm gonna have black shoes in it. I'm gonna have some black backgrounds. I'm gonna have black shirts. You're doing a more pink page. The clothes that you're wearing in the pictures that you post, they're gonna be more pink. You're gonna have some pictures of you blowing bubble gum, something like that to keep that aesthetic. I know I threw a lot at you guys, so if you wanted to watch this video again, go ahead and scroll back. I'm gonna try to keep it as short as possible because I hate long videos. And share the video, let your friends know um, how to create an aesthetic. If you enjoy this type of content, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and tap the notification bell to get notifications every time I post. This summer I launched my brand guys. Rolltape.com is officially up. I have products on there. You can book me for photo shoots, you can book me for video shoots, you can get graphic designs, and I'm also working on some packages that will teach you guys specific, specific, specific influencer tips and tricks. I wanna make it five minutes. I wanna make this video under five minutes because a five minute video is normally a very, very good video. I feel like I'm rambling at this point. It's just like, if you made it to the end of the video, why wouldn't you subscribe? We're friends now. Go ahead and tap that notification bell. Leave a comment. Did I really help you? Did I really help you? Did you just come here to see me? Like, I ain't posting that in a while. You just came here to see me. What's up? What's up, my friend? I don't know.